Good afternoon and welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me at the market site in Times Square, we have Gabor Gerbex. He's the Director of Digital Asset Strategies over at VanEck MVIS. And we're here to discuss VanEck and NASDAQ partnering on Crypto 2.0 Futures Contract. Gabor, it's great to see you again, as always. That's exciting news. Our audience loves everything crypto, so tell us about <laughs> the new contract. Joe, thanks for having me. It's great to be here at NASDAQ. So uh, what uh, our new partnership is, is so VanEck and VanEck's MBS has partnered with NASDAQ to bring to market more regulated and transparent futures contracts. So we've, we've, built, um, we've built indices through MBIS and NASDAQ has a very successful futures uh, exchange. So we're merging those two and we're bringing grown up markets to uh, digital assets and crypto futures trading. So how long has this product been in development? So uh, we've, we've actually looked into this for 80 months and we've been uh, talking with among VanEck, MVIS and NASDAQ. We also looked into market makers, regulators and other major uh, industry participants. A very active discussion and hopefully that helps building this new grown up 2.0 type of market. All right. So CME, SIBO and soon ICE, they have cryptocurrency uh contracts on the market. How is this product going to be different from the other exchanges? That's a great question. So uh, the, the key po two key points that I would say is uh, surveillance. So NASDAQ is leading uh, the global equity and futures markets and surveillance. So all the futures contracts, futures contracts and the underlying exchanges will be surveilled as well. This is one of the things that will uh, help inspire confidence to investors as well as regulators. Uh, so the idea is that we are going to make crypto look like equities and the futures market through NASDAQ surveillance capabilities. And we're going to use MBIS as uh, pricing sources uh, in uh, partnership with Crypto Compare to get the most accurate possible pricing. So we'll have accurate pricing and we'll have market transparency to again in, uh, install confidence in trading in crypto markets. Today, you know, there's a lot of questions around whether the markets are surveilled, whether there's market manipulation. We would like to leave no room for market manipulation and no room for questions around whether appropriate surveillance is in place or not. That's a great point that you bring up that these products are going to feel more like equities and I think that will help with you know, some investor concerns. So you mentioned a couple of the benefits that the VanEck MBIS partnership affords with this contract. What else um, is out there? And we spoke about surveillance as well. Uh, yes, yeah, so in, in the partnership, I just wanted to point out that, uh, again, uh, surveillance, resiliency to market manipulation, and, and, and proper pricing. Those are the, the three points. And, and in general, I, I also wanted to uh, mention that you know, Vanek is uh, actively working on a Bitcoin ETF. And uh, we're trying to, again, build proper market structure for this space. And, and we call this uh, the Crypto 2.0 or Grown Up Markets. So uh, hoping that um, you know, our regulators will appreciate that and hoping that there will be more confidence among investors to meaningfully participate in this space. All right, and that's something, uh, going a little bit off script here, but that's something <laughs> that we spoke about before as we were prepping for our video. Regulating these kinds of products, it's a good thing because it instills confidence in the market with investors and so forth. You, you agree with that? Yes, uh, so I, I think, you know, the, uh, what we tend to say uh, at VanEck is that 2018 was the year of regulation. So we have seen uh, the, the SEC uh, going after some bad actors and kind of like the, the, the fraud end ICOs were, um, taken uh, so action was taken against ICOs. The CFTC went against commodity type of fraud. So the space is cleaning up very nicely. Mm -hmm. And so while this process is going on, parallelly we spent a lot of time building uh, market structure and pricing uh, over the counter transparency and Nasdaq's uh, smart kind of like surveillance to to again give a better feel <laughs> for everyone about these markets. And so, I think, yes. how, so how will this contract? How that's going to influence? the crypto space, do you think it'll lend a little bit more credibility? What's the right word there? Yeah, so uh, right, it's tough, you know, tough to say what the mm -hmm. right word. I, I, I think it's instilling confidence is, is what I like to use. Uh, we want to, so the, the point is, all the existing solutions, uh, some, you know, some regulators claim that, uh, you know, they, they skip corners and uh, we will cut corners. We don't want to cut corners. We want to build the, the outstanding necessary sort of like components that would give us the uh, ability to think about crypto as, as any other asset class. And today there is a need for non-sovereign issued uh, trust minimized money. And, and, and you know, in, in days in the market like today, there's, people are looking for safe haven assets. And I think it's worth putting the time and effort into creating the next generation or 2.0 safe haven assets. And without this type of work that we do with uh, NASDAQ, MBIS, and and, and, and Vanek, the 2.0 cannot come about. So uh, 
I'm excited about it. All right, so let's wrap it up here. What are your thoughts with the crypto market in general? It's, it's no Sirico, it's been volatile for, for 2018 for sure. Mm -hmm. Look, so uh, I don't think that, you know, for instance on pricing it, I don't think price is the right metric to look at. It really doesn't matter whether Bitcoin is $1,000 or $50,000. Uh, proper market structure needs to be in place in the custody, pricing, and surveillance end. And once that happens, I think this uh, uh, market can thrive. And what I like to say is that uh, in, uh, it's 2018 today, and in 2038, if you look at the markets, digital assets have the potential to become a $10 trillion market. We have seen uh, on the ETF side that ETFs are roughly a 17-year-old market. They are over $6 trillion globally. And uh, I do think that digital assets are going to go grow faster. Uh, so I'm really excited for that. I'm excited to build a market structure for that $10 trillion market with NASDAQ, FANEC, and MBIS. All right, great. Thank you so much, as always, Gabor, for joining me. Thank you, Joe. And thank you for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.